Hey, it's Lauren. As you can see, I've got this fancy little do right now, um, but I wanna tell you why it looks the way that it does. So I've been thinking about something recently, which is the fact that I have really started to extend out the days in between my washing and styling of my hair. Um, and I realized that could be very helpful information to share with a lot of you on how I'm adding extra days in my wash cycle. So let's start out with um, in the shower, I don't use anything too fancy usually on my hair uh, regarding like shampoo and conditioner. I'll be honest with you, a lot of times, open up my shower here, a lot of times I use this. <laughs> Shocking, I know. For someone who has worked in the hair industry, um, I love herbal essences. They're like old school rose. This is what my mom used to use on me when I was a little kid. <laughs> actually love this stuff. Um, I use that and then a lot of times I'll use like my Evolve conditioner that I have in my shower, whatever I've got on hand really. Um, and then when I get out of the shower, um, I like to set a base with my hair of a product that is going to help control and absorb oil as well as give me a lot of volume. So for that, I use Evolve Smart Volume Instant Volumizing Mousse. Um, it has this manual pump that you use and here's the thing about this. It has tapioca starch in it, which is going to give you a lot of shape and style if you blow dry your hair. Um, but also tapioca starch is going to absorb oils. So this is a fantastic product to start your style with. And the other thing I wanna note about this product is if you have wavy or curly hair and you wanna air dry it, this is amazing for really helping to shape your curls and give you a lot of bounce and style. So amazing product. I'm going to link everything below, by the way, um, just in case you're wanting to buy some of this. So then um, I will blow dry my hair or do whatever I'm going to do. Sometimes I'll air dry it. And lately I have been using hot rollers on my hair. Um, and so usually like I get a couple days out of you know, having this in it. The other thing worth noting is that I have been exercising a ton and I sweat profusely because um, I do like resistance and weight training and then I've been doing cycling pretty much every day too, um, anywhere between 10 and 20 miles at a time. So I am drenched at the end of my workouts. And so you would think that would ruin my hair but basically like I have my hair pulled up while I'm doing my workouts. And then when I'm done, I use my blow dryer on the cool setting and I blow dry that sweat. I get all of that moisture out of my hair. And then what I do is I go in with my Virtue Refresh Dry Shampoo. I am obsessed with this stuff. I talk about it all the time on my Instagram, but this dry shampoo has completely changed the game for me. I used to hate dry shampoo because it's always cakey and chalky and it makes your hair feel dirtier. This doesn't do that and it smells fantastic and it really helps to extend my style. And the other thing I'll say is it's a clear formula. A lot of times dry shampoos, if you don't have blonde hair, can leave your hair looking white, <laughs> like a powdered wig. Um, I've already got some in my hair, but just to show you, you can get up in there, let that sit for a second. No color. It's so fabulous. I love this stuff so, so much. Um, and so I'll put that in my hair and let it sit. So the other thing that I've been doing that I've noticed really helps to extend my style, as you can see, I've got this like fun kind of crazy looking updo. Um, basically like since I've been doing roller sets on my hair and I want to maintain the curl in my hair without having to use heat every time, after I have blow dried the sweat out of my hair, put in some dry shampoo to let it sit, I have been basically like I roll like three little top sections on my hair so I get lots of lift and volume and then I've been making these little like pin curls I'll turn it's kind of falling down because I've had it on for a little while now but I just like take a section of hair I'll show you and I start rolling it up you just you know you start from the bottom kind of tuck these ends like so and start rolling it like that. And then I just have been pinning that flat against my head with a double prong clip like that. And then I, I've done a couple, um, like I do two on the sides here and then I do four in the back, two up high and then two down low. And so what this does is it gets all my hair out of my face and up off of my neck. So when I take a shower, I don't get my hair wet. 
But the second thing about this that's really cool is when you're in the shower, you've got all that steam it helps to lock in your style, okay? So it's important to know I don't live in a humid climate. That wouldn't really work very well if you did. But for me personally, I utilize the humidity in my shower and then I let it cool down after I've gotten out. So you've got multiple things happening. You've got your dry shampoo absorbing that oil um, while you're you know, also kind of setting it a style again. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this down. I've had this in for, I don't know, probably an hour or so. Um, and I did a roller set on my hair yesterday, so I'd have lots of bounce. But look at that. Like, it really helps to give some shape to your hair without adding additional heat. Get all these little pins out. Go over here, too. Okay, lots of bounce. Good, good. I'm going to take these down. I actually secure my Velcro rollers with a bobby pin, just like directly on the scalp where that roller rests on my head. Um, if you have longer hair, sometimes your hair is gonna just not hold to that roller. Shorter hair tends to not have issues with that because it'll only wrap around once, but once your hair starts wrapping multiple times around that roller, it tends to not wanna stay as well. Always try to be very gentle when I'm taking out Velcro rollers. Okay, now that all that dry shampoo has sat for a while, I'm gonna massage my head a little bit. Getting some good volume up in here. A little bit of grip from that dry shampoo, which is also really nice. I'm trying to figure out which way I wanna go with my hair today. I feel very like 80s right now. Um, I'm kind of okay with it. <laughs> I think we'll keep going this way today. All right. So you can see that was like super easy. My hair looks really, really nice and fresh still. Um, and so this is going to keep going for a couple days, right? Now, the other thing that I like to use a lot, this was a new product to me and it's also been gifted to me, but it is the Living Proof Dry Texture and Volume Spray dry volume and texture spray. And this stuff is freaking awesome. It has a little bit of an oil absorbing quality, much like dry shampoo. And it's also gonna just like really like expand out your hair. It smells amazing. And I'm just gonna kind of blast that all through the, <laughs> ooh, hello girl, <laughs> all through the top of my hair. Oh my God, I love it. <laughs> This has like seriously been such an amazing product. I will be rebuying this because look at what it did. Like it just like, like I feel like a 90s supermodel and I'm all about it. Oh, I love it. We're gonna, oh, hello, little hole there. <laughs> I'm gonna actually put some more back here because it just feels kind of heavy on the back of my head. It gives this really weightless quality to your hair, which is what I love so much about it. But yeah, the, like utilizing these products, setting my hair after I've gotten the oil and the moisture out, like while I shower, letting that cool down that way has really helped to prolong my styles. And I just wanted to share that with you guys because I think that could be really helpful for some of you who feel like you have to wash your hair every day. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, I'm always happy to answer them. I am a licensed hairdresser. I have a, a lot of years behind the chair. Um, I'm not practicing anymore. I stay home with my daughter, but I'm always happy to help out if you do have some questions. So pop me a message. If you enjoyed this kind of content, make sure to give it a little thumbs up. It helps other people find my channel. And if you want to see more of me, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.